Hey beautiful, how are you today? Welcome back, it's Shandy, and in this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful wonder cardigan, including a tutorial on these fun little shell stitches. This pattern is amazing. It's so darn simple and too cute for words. You won't wanna wear anything else. It's actually a rectangle that you cleverly seam up and then add a little detailing on the sleeves, easy. If you would like the full written version of this pattern, I'll pop the link in the description for you. This pattern is called Wonder and was designed for you by Christina Smiley. And she worded the inspiration for this pattern beautifully. My inspiration for this design is the wonder of life itself. The dictionary describes wonder as being a feeling of surprise mingled with admiration caused by something beautiful, unexpected, unfamiliar, or inexplicable. Life is full of unexpected and inexplicable beauty. I am constantly amazed at the resilience of a simple blade of grass that can look completely dead in the winter months and then seemingly turn green in front of your eyes the moment a spring shower releases its first drop of rain. This transformation creates a great sense of wonder in me and gives me comfort and peace. This cardigan expresses that wonder with its ability to transform from a simple rectangular shape into an amazingly wonderful oversized shrug that wraps you in warmth and comfort. Isn't that amazing? So true. For this pattern, I opted for our Sincere Sock Yarn. This is a fingering weight yarn that's a blend of superwash merino wool and nylon. It's buttery soft, long wearing, with a comforting bounce and elasticity, so it's gonna hold its shape really nicely. Okay, to create this pattern, you've got lots of half double crochets, and then these gorgeous little shell stitches, which consist of a setup row and then a single row repeat, so easy. I would say an advanced beginner can absolutely make this. Today, I'm gonna assume that you know how to work half double crochets, so I'm gonna jump right into the shell stitch pattern and show you how to do that. All right, let's work some shell stitches. I've worked a few rows of half double crochets just as a foundation. To get started on the shells, here is the first row. Okay, so you're gonna start by chaining one, which on this row counts as one single crochet. Then into the first half double crochet, you're gonna work one half double crochet. And one double crochet into that same first stitch. Okay, then what you're gonna do is skip the next two half double crochets. Then into the next one, you're gonna work one single crochet, one half double crochet, one double crochet. So skip one, two, and into the next stitch, you're gonna work one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet, all into that same stitch. They're a happy little family. All right, now it's super simple. You're just gonna repeat that across your row. So skip two and work a single crochet into the next stitch, a half double crochet into that same stitch, and a double crochet into that same stitch. So you've created another little shell here. We'll do it again. I just have a little small swatch here today. So skip two, work a single crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet. All right, when you have three stitches left, what you're going to do is skip the next two double crochets and you're gonna single crochet in the top of that beginning chain two over here to finish off that row. So that's your setup row and we're done with that. And here's the second row. 
This is the row that you're going to repeat to create the whole shell section. Okay, we're going to turn and then we're going to chain one. And on this row, this counts as a single crochet. All right, we're going to work a half double crochet and a double crochet into this first single crochet here at the base of this chain one. So right into this single crochet, you're going to work a half double and then a double crochet. Just like that. Okay, then you're going to work one single crochet, one half double, and one double crochet into the next single crochet. So where is our next single crochet? Well, this was our double, this was our half double, so our single crochet is right here. So you work a single crochet, a half double crochet into the same stitch, and then a double crochet into the same stitch. And then you're just gonna repeat that all the way across. So again, into your next single crochet, which is over here, because this was our double, this was our half double, this is our single. So into that single crochet, you're going to work one single crochet, one half double crochet, and then one double crochet. And you can see you're getting these cute little shells here. Ooh, ooh. Repeat that across your row. So for me, that's one more time. Into the next single crochet, I will work a single crochet, a half double crochet, and then a double crochet. So once you finish that and you're at the end of your row, you're just going to work a single crochet in the top of the beginning chain one of the previous row. So right over here at the edge, you're gonna work a single crochet to finish off that row. And that is the row that you're gonna repeat to create your shell stitch section. When you repeat that row, you're gonna end up with this look here. And there you have it a wearable, flattering cardigan that is sure to become one of your favorite wardrobe pieces. It also makes a great gift because fit is not crucial on this, so that person that keeps asking for a sweater, you can make them this one. I thank you so much for watching, and as always, don't leave without subscribing, and if you would like to hear when we have new patterns and specials, just sign up for email updates at expressionfiberarts.com, and I will let you know. All right, have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage him. Let's work some shell stitches. All right, let's work some shell stitches. Keep going. <laughs>